Hello everyone, welcome to the fourth part of our Europa League jersey review. Uh, today I'm wearing my Croatia jersey and we'll see for good reason because we're going to look at Group D. Um, where we will start off with Anderlecht from Belgium. Uh, I was wondering actually uh, today, Anderlecht of course has a purple shirt and that Remind me, is Anderlecht potentially the most famous purple team in the world? I can only think of two contenders, Fiorentina and Austria Wien. Um, History-wise, I mean, Anderlecht beat Austria Wien in the 78 Cup Winners' Cup final. So there goes Anderlecht. I guess uh, Fiorentina has not won anything in Europe. Or maybe they've won a UEFA Cup. So I'll let you decide. Uh, Fiorentina has, of course, the advantage of playing in a big league. Anderlecht, though, has the European honors to back it up and is actually the dominant team in Belgium. So, there you go. Well, the Anderlecht shirt is manufactured by Adidas, as they have been for the past years, I want to say. Um, and it's actually quite an interesting shirt. At uh, Looking at it straight, it's a typical Anderlecht shirt. That's what I would expect. Purple. We have white sleeve cuffs, very thin, also an outline around the collar, nice. And uh, the only downside really is the sponsor, which is full colored, doesn't really fit with the purple and white scheme, honestly. So for that reason, don't like that much. I would be alright if it were just said the BNP Paribas for this, but the green logo just irks me a little bit. And then. Uh, if you look closer, there's a really interesting pattern. It's a kind of a triangular pattern that is very similar to what Spain had in 2016. Not sure. I just want to look closer. I think it's pretty much exactly the same pattern. Not sure why Anderlecht chose to have this pattern, but it makes the shirt a little bit more interesting to look at. I still think it's a very nice one, despite the sponsor. I'm going to give this nine stars, which I won't give to the away jersey, which I think is... Boring, wrong in every regard. Why? I would expect it white with purple. Start right there. This is salmon colored, orangey, in this Adidas template that you know so many teams have. I really have to make a count. I make a pro a separate video just using this template. How many shirts have we covered so far? And probably how my um, rating range went. This one will go really low. Uh, I don't understand the color. Spawns on there is yeah same as the home jersey. You can you see it even worse because the salmon color is kind of uh, light, so the white sponsor in it doesn't feature very well. At least the club crest in white, you know, you see the colors a little bit better. I don't like it. Three stars. Now the second CD team in this group is of course a big name, uh, Fenerbahce Istanbul. Anderlecht also big name, but I think within Turkey, Fenerbahce is safely among the top three. And I've covered on my blog Fenerbahce jerseys before and I never really liked them. This time, the home jersey, this is how I imagine a Fenerbahce jersey. Just the navy and the yellow striping. Also, I like it that they have the side striping. Maybe the shoulders could, you know, let the striping go all the way, but I guess there's a shield on the back in navy um, which according to new regulations i know they're not uh, cons uh, consistent with those yet shouldn't be there but overall i like even that the sleeves are striped this is another really really great jersey that i think i want to also give nine stars ten just because it's not 100 perfect with the shoulders and so on it but it's a really really nice thing about your shirt and similar to Anderlecht. The away jersey, uh, WTF, honestly, where is this color coming from? This, this is kind of a sea green version or sea blue version of the blue and then you have the turquoise in there, which okay, turquoise has some Turkish relationship because it means the stone of Turkey. Uh, monochromatic crest, which is just round because you cannot really make out the details in it. Nah, this goes the underlift way. Ugh. 
is also three stars <laughs> and I'm very consistent. Nine for home, three for away. But um, at least the third jersey redeems it a little bit. This makes so much sense. The only thing I don't like is that the stripe here is a little bit cut by the shoulder pad. That looks weird, but other than that, it makes a lot of whole sense. You have white with yellow stripes. This is what I would expect. You could have made something similar, you know, if you just make a navy away jersey and have some yellow accents popping or something like that. This makes this I like. Um, it's not perfect, but I think the overall look of it, the sleeve striping could match up with the shirt striping. That's maybe a downside. So yeah, I think overall seven, but I really like uh, the idea behind this shirt. Then the reason why I'm wearing the Croatia shirt is of course Dinamo Zagreb, um, you know, Croatian team, so I can wear my Croatia jersey. Uh, these days it's probably not that with uh, Croatia losing so heavily to Spain, but yeah, I pulled it out exactly for that. Gotta say I'm not a big, I'm not a really uh, Dinamo Zagreb fan, but I found it fitting. Dinamo Zagreb plays at home in the blue jerseys like Croatia. Uh, I think even there might be the um, inspiration coming from but this time around adidas uh uses some additional striping it is almost nike-esque i have to say uh with the gradients and a, a lot of structure in there that kind of makes it look weird honestly and yeah i'm not the biggest fan of it it just looks blue with with a lot of striping in there and not much more i mean the crest is popping nicely but I think I, I'm gonna give this five stars. See, first different rating. Uh, the away jersey here is the black one with the white pinstripes. Also, not quite sure why, honestly. Um, the pattern with the slanted pinstripe look, is nice, um, but I don't see the connection with the crest or the club's colors, which are blue. And also the contrast between the blue and the black is not that much. So also for the, you know, there are a few reasons. I was hoping that I would like the blue jersey, the black jersey. I don't understand for that. I give this five stars as well. And then of course we have another one with the pattern uh, in yellow. At least it makes sense as an alternate jersey. Um, also full color crest, kudos for that. It pops nicely. But why do you use black as an accent color again? Why not blue? Do something a little bit more with it. For that reason, I think I'm also going to stick with five. These are just very average sets. I think it could be overall much, much better. The last team is Spartak Trnava um, from uh, Slovakia, of course. Don't have actually really great pictures of either home or away, like for Zagreb, but the home jersey is the classic. I'm actually not sure about the colors. It is uh, black with orangey red, so it's a kind of a bright red. It's not me the medium uh, red. Uh, so yeah, it's. I think it wants to look a little bit like a Milan jersey, honestly. But um, for some reason, I think the red doesn't quite connect here. Uh, overall, I think it's the classic Spartak jersey. I don't really like how the shoulders are and the sleeves are not striped. Um, that's a little bit odd, but then at least the sponsor in white fits very nicely on there. The club crest, I really wish there wasn't a soccer ball on there. That could be something uh, better. I think they should have a better jersey. Yeah, I think overall it's, it's okay, but it's nothing exciting. So I'm going to give this seven stars. And the away jersey is a white version where I miss the red is only on the sponsor and the numbers. The, every, every, everything else is black accents. So I really wish that they would use maybe the Milan striping, the, you know, with black or red, black or something like that, to give it a little bit more zest. Overall, again, I think it's the same Adidas template that we've seen now so often. And yeah, that's not exciting, but I think overall it makes a lot of sense to have the away jersey like that. And I'll give this also seven stars well there we go let me know where you agree and where you disagree let me know in the comments which choices you like and yeah give me a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these we'll see you tomorrow with the next group e bye and up until then